Howdy ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Texas 50 Guard, my name is Jared. In this episode we're talking about how to make a trellis. So I have one right behind me here. Uh, I got this idea from Mel Bartholomew's book, All New Square Foot Gardening. And this one behind me, what it is, it's made out of electrical conduit on the exterior. On the inside is now a mesh. What's great about it is that uh, you, you put it in the ground with rebar and uh, you can t pick it up and move it and put it wherever you want to uh, in the garden whenever, say like right now I'm growing green beans. When the green beans are done growing, I can pick it up and move it around. A lot of trellises uh, you'll find that people put in are pretty much permanent. So say if I have green beans right here and I put in a wooden trellis that's you know screwed into the, the uh, foundation or whatever of this, uh, this bed, it's pretty hard to get up and move it, say if I want to do cucumbers over there next year or upcoming. So uh, this is great because it's very portable and it's pretty sturdy and it's easy to make. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to make it. So the supplies you're going to need for this project are going to be uh, either a half inch or three quarter inch electrical conduit. And you can pick that up at any of the big box stores, hardware stores. Um, I usually use half inch uh, electrical conduit. Now, if you're growing something like pumpkins, if you want to trellis large pumpkins or something like that, uh, I would suggest you use three quarter inch um, uh, electrical conduit. But in most cases, half inch is going to be plenty for cucumbers, green beans, stuff like that. So, uh, and they come in 10 foot sections. And generally speaking, I like to cut them uh, to, to make them six feet high. So once you cut them there, it's going to be six feet and four feet of the two pieces you're going to have left over. And also with that, you're going to need the uh, 90 degree, uh, 90 degree connectors to connect the two top ends. And so make sure that you've got, if you've got half inch conduit, make sure you've got the half inch 90 degree um, double female or three quarter inch if you have a three quarter inch. Also, you're going to need how to get a nylon mesh our nylon this one says five five foot by eight foot sturdy garden trellis so basically it's just a, a nylon mesh made for uh, all kinds of vine type plants lastly you're going to need is uh, something to cut your condo with in this case i have to use a sawzall if you don't have a sawzall you can use a hacksaw uh, with a, maybe a miter box or something and also make sure you have your uh, your ear protection and your goggles uh, if you are going to use something like a sawzall because we don't want any injuries. So the first thing we want to make sure we do, uh, the very first thing is to make sure we get a good measurement of how uh, wide our, be our bed actually is. This one is supposed to be about four feet across, but it's probably a little bit less than that. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it, take my tape measure from one side to another. It's actually only 44, 44 inches across. So that's very important to do because uh, we want to make sure we cut our, our conduit exactly right. Now that we've let, measured the width of our bed, we're going to go ahead and measure the 90 degree uh, connection and the conduit to make sure it's 44 inches exactly. So if I took the electrical conduit and I just measured out 44 inches, you got to remember that uh, those 44 inches, you've got this piece here too. So um, the 44 inches is going to go to right here where the conduit stops but you still got this little extra piece here so we are gonna have to measure this piece on both our 90 degree angles and then we're gonna have to um, find the difference and make sure everything equals 44 so that when we put it in the ground it's not too wide uh, for the bed so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and there's a delineation right here in the middle I don't know if y'all can see that right there in the middle um, so whenever I put the conduit in, it's just going to go right there to this line here. So what I want to do is go ahead and take my tape measure and measure from the end here to this right here. And that is going to be an inch and a half. So that's one of them. And then say I had another one, that's another inch and a half. So I've got two at the top. So inch and a half plus inch and a half, that's going to be three inches. So it said 44 inches across. And uh, so if I've got three inches, 44 minus three is gonna be 41. So my conduit actually needs to be 41 inches long. So go ahead and take our conduit and measure it out until we get 
44 inches, four, sorry, 41 inches, because we are got to um, account for this 90 degree angle, the, the space in this 90 degree angle. So now that I've measured my conduit at 41 inches, I went ahead and put a, a little Sharpie marker right there so I know where to cut it. Make sure I got my eye ear protection on and you might want to put some gloves on as well. So let's go ahead and just cut that. So there's my 41 inches. Now that we've got our 41 inches, we're gonna go ahead and take our 90 degree uh, double female, go ahead and put it on there. Let's just put it on this side first. It should just slip right on there. And the way these work is they've got screws. You see there's a screw right here. You're gonna slip it in there. Oh. So Slip it together. And once you've slipped it in there, you're gonna go ahead and take a screwdriver and tighten it down like that. So now you've got your connection, connection made. So the end that you cut may have some uh, debris on it like this, kind of just sticking off of it. So it's gonna be hard to put the 90, it's going to be hard to put the 90 degree angle onto that uh, that piece right here. So we can go ahead and take a file and just file it down. So uh, if you had to file it down, go ahead and after you're done filing it down, put your other 90 degree angle on there. Make sure that it uh, kind of lines up to where you want both both ends, these parts right here, lined up pointing down. Okay. Otherwise you're going to have a crooked looking a crooked uh, trellis. So get it pretty close and again make sure you screw it down so it fills tight. If you're having problems uh, pushing the conduit all the way into the 90 degree angle, what you can do is just barely get it in there, get it started and then use the force some kind of hard ground like this concrete block to jam it in there. Not too hard. You don't want to break the 90 degree angle. Once that's in there, go ahead and screw it in. So once you've put in your crossbar, your your whip, uh, you want to go ahead and determine how high you want your uh, trellis to be. In most cases, six feet is going to be plenty. Um, if you you can do up to you know use the whole 10 foot piece of conduit if you want to and have a 10 foot tall trellis but usually uh, six feet is going to be sufficient so just cut those side pieces into six feet and then uh, connect them the same way we connected the uh, the upper portion and then after this we're going to go ahead and take the uh, nylon trellis lay it over top and cut it to whatever dimension you've got here and then uh, connect it together. I'm going to go ahead and go inside and do that because it's kind of warm out here and then I'll come back out to show you the end finished product. So I went inside and I laid the nylon mesh out and uh, measured it and uh, cut it to fit and then tied each end on and so this is going to be your final product and so as you can tell it's portable if I want to go put it up you know in the, in the garage or whatever I can do that but uh, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put it in the garden right now. So to put up our trellis, all we need is two pieces of rebar, and you want the rebar to be small enough to fit within that uh, half inch uh, frame of the conduit. You're gonna take each of them, and I like to place them just kind of wherever you want to in the middle of the, uh, the plants you're starting to grow. So I'll put it in the middle of my cucumber plants. Hammer it about halfway down with your hammer. Make sure you wear your glasses. So now you just take your trellis and put it over top of the rebar. So once you've put your uh, trellis in, 
if you've already planted your plants, um, they're going to grow up, most of them, like the cucumbers and the green beans, they have these little things called uh, tendrils. And what they'll do is they'll just grab on to whatever kind of trellis you've got next to you. So you can kind of just guide them up there, kind of just weave them in and out, and then eventually they'll just start growing up there by themselves. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you put together a portable and fairly sturdy trellis. So until next time,